Hey lovelies, it's Jen here. It is Monday about 9 o'clock and I don't have a video today. Travis had his surgery and it went from about, from what John said, about 7.30 to about, uh, I think 2, something like that by the time John finally got back to ICU. And since that point, Travis has been asleep or awake very briefly just to throw up um, and then right back to sleep. At one point he was asked some questions and he could say his name and who the president was and what year it was. And then one other point he woke up and uh, asked, dad, asked John if he had been asleep for most of the day and how his dad was doing on a video game. But um, then he went right back to sleep. So he pretty much hasn't been awake awake. So um, there wasn't much video to do. That is just the update. But we are are thankful that he is out of surgery, obviously. That he is breathing on his own. That he doesn't need life support or anything like that. Um, he's completely nauseous. He's been throwing up straight since he got out. So that's the only thing that wakes him up is to throw up. And then he goes right back to sleep. They're giving him some more medicine. So I'm hoping that means maybe he can get some rest tonight. And then... Maybe when he wakes up, the medicine will be out of his system finally, and he'll be a little more awake. I don't know, though. Um, he had a CAT scan just to make sure that there was no brain swelling or bleeding um, from the surgery, and that came back good according to the surgeon, so that's good. And I think I'm just going to cap it here. Um, I haven't seen him. John spent the night before surgery, and then the plan was John was going to spend the day and then probably come back tonight if he had recovered enough but he's having a very rough recovery so John is going to spend the night tonight in ICU with him because um, we really want him to be able to call the nurse if he needs them on his own without we wouldn't want to leave him otherwise so John's going to spend the night tonight and then if he's stable we're going to touch base in the morning we may switch and John will come home and I'll go spend the day with Travis and hopefully fingers crossed by the end of the day tomorrow he'll be functional enough we can leave him and John and I can both be home tomorrow night and go back to swapping alternate days which was the initial plan and what we had been doing up until the surgery so we, um, maybe that'll be on the, the path to what we can get but um, right now we just are saying prayers that Travis is healing while he's sleeping and that tomorrow he won't be as sleepy and we can see more glimpses of the Travis that we know that he's still there because we've seen some. And um, we miss him and we love him. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll see him a little more tomorrow. And hopefully he'll be less sick, which would be helpful. And maybe he can have some water or ice chips. So I think I'm going to leave it there. 